couple of weeks ago, I talked about Marjorie Taylor Greene's spat with Laura Loomer, and one observation that I made in that video was that Marjorie Taylor Greene almost looked, dare I say, sane compared to Laura Loomer. Not that she is sane, but the juxtaposition really gave her the veneer of sanity. Now, since then, I've been thinking Marjorie Taylor Greene has been a little bit less visible lately. She's I guess, maybe refrain from going out of her way to say as stupid things as she usually does, perhaps because she doesn't want to hurt Donald Trump. And I'm not sure if she's making a choice here, or perhaps maybe she just matured since she got elected to Congress, which isn't necessarily out of the realm of possibility, even though it seems unlikely. But I mean, a couple of years can really make a huge difference on somebody in terms of their maturity. For me, the difference between me being 18 and me being 20 was significant in terms of my maturity level. And then by the time I reached 25, I was significantly more mature compared to me turning 20. So I was starting to maybe wonder if Marjorie Green made the same sort of mental leap after seeing the way that she handled that dispute with Laura Loomer. But it turns out I was reading way too much into that and it was all just an illusion because Marjorie Green is back to her old self. And I don't mean her pre-Loomer war self, I mean her pre-Congress 2019 self when she was talking about Jewish space lasers. And I say this because she took to Twitter to announce her intent to win a Darwin Award, writing, Raw milk does a body good. Make America healthy again. Now, you don't have to go very far to find out how dangerous this is because the community note under her tweet pointed out that raw milk consumption is linked to E. coli, salmonella, and other foodborne illnesses. And if you watched this program before, you know that I've talked about this as well. After Matt Walsh tweeted that people who drink raw milk were idiots, and then he was subsequently attacked for saying that by his own followers, one of them being another member of Congress, Thomas Massey, who claimed that he's been drinking raw milk for years and had previously boasted about his raw milk collection with the hashtag, come and take it. So needless to say, raw milk milk is becoming a thing on the right, just like being anti-vax is now a right-wing thing. But with that being said, when it comes to Massey and Marjorie, to that I say bottoms up. Make sure you finish that entire glass, Marjorie, and drink lots more while you're at it, because you might have not won the Herman Cain Award yet, but a Darwin Award is still very much something that is achievable for you. So make sure that you chug that shit, okay? But to be clear, Republicans aren't just raw milk drinking anti-vax flat earthers now. They're also delusional conspiracy theorists who think that elites somehow are able to control the weather. And I wish that I was making this up, but I'm not making this up. And guess who made that claim? Of course, it was Marjorie Taylor Greene who tweeted, yes, they can control the weather. It's ridiculous for anyone to lie and say it can't be done. Now, when she says they, I'm honestly not sure if she means Democratic Party elites or Jewish people or both, but she's so confident that it can be done that she took the time to dunk on people who got triggered by her quote unquote truth telling by sharing this Wojak of a triggered liberal fact checking her while sharing various patents for weather modification as if this proves anything but apparently to her this confirms beyond a shadow of a doubt that uh, the weather can be controlled and it is being controlled but speaking of flat earthers she got backup from candace taylor of georgia who ties democrats controlling the weather to election theft writing the weather can and is being manipulated wake up Stop being ignorant or plain stupid. That's ironic. There's no such thing as coincidences. The most important election in the history of America is 30 days away. Pray. Georgia voting has been compromised and don't know if we will be able to get all our early voting days in. Now, a hurricane is coming straight for Florida. These two states are necessary for a Trump victory. No coincidence. Honestly, reading all of that made me want to drink raw milk myself and just overdose on it. But... To her credit, she's at least tying her conspiracy theory to a motive, which is something that other conspiracy theorists don't do because they don't really think that much about their conspiracy theories. It doesn't make her better. It just means that she's thought a little bit more deeply about this conspiracy theory, but not that deep. But she's saying Democrats are creating hurricanes in red states specifically to hurt Donald Trump, which makes perfect sense until you realize, oh, wait, Kamala Harris is actually competitive in some of these red states 
that were affected by the hurricane, states like Georgia and North Carolina. So she's using a hurricane gun to shoot hurricanes at red states to suppress Trump voters. Doesn't it logically follow that she's also suppressing votes for people who might want to vote for her, too? Isn't she hurting herself as well? Hmm, don't think that we've thought that far about it. Have we now, Candace? Furthermore, none of these people realize that we live in a capitalist country, the system that they shill for, and these hurricanes are costly. They disrupt businesses and they prevent people from going to work, which doesn't benefit the capitalist class. Capitalists have a financial disincentive to create hurricanes, even if they could, because they are damaging, they are destructive, they hurt not just people, which they don't care about, they hurt the economy, which is the only thing that they do care about. It hurts their bottom line. But yet these people just think that elites are willy-nilly shooting hurricane guns at certain states, and they're specifically conspicuously shooting the hurricane gun around the same time every year during hurricane season but maybe they just plan it that way right but i mean this is where we are right but this is not new even though it's sad and i say it's not new because if you'll recall guess who else talked about hurricane guns uh donald j trump who reportedly kept asking when he was president whether or not china was shooting a hurricane gun at us and whether or not bombing them was a proportional response to their hurricane attack so i think it would be a false equivalence at this point to even compare this to idiocracy because the people in that fictional movie are, I think, arguably more sophisticated than the modern-day Republican Party. I mean, sure, they were watering crops with Gatorade, but at least they weren't unironically talking about hurricane guns and wanting to bomb other countries to trigger World War III uh, because of their theoretical use of hurricane guns. What does that even look like, by the way? What does a hurricane gun look like? I don't know what to say, but keep in mind, we've only been talking about Republicans with power. But if you look at GOP influencers and celebrities who support Donald Trump, things look so much more bleak. Case in point. You know, they eat babies. That is not bullshit. It's true. So it's not just the dogs and the cats, not just the pets. It's not just the dogs and the cats. They're full on vampires. And everybody still thinks I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. They're full on vampires. They love the taste of human flesh and they drink human blood. First of all, vampires don't eat human flesh, dummy. They only drink human blood. Second of all, what the fuck? It feels like I'm living in the Truman Show and everyone is purposefully going crazy around me so that way some audience can watch my reaction. I say that as I realize I'm recording this to a camera and you're watching it, but I mean, it's working. If it's, if it's purposeful, it's working. I feel like I'm going crazy because what's happening? And furthermore, how long until somebody like that is elected? How long until Roseanne Barr herself is elected to Congress? Don't think it's impossible because what most of society once recognized as untreated mental illness is now perceived as bold truth telling. So rather than seeing that woman and feeling sadness because she's not getting the help that she needs, a lot of people will say, oh, wow, finally somebody said it, right? I mean, George Orwell's 1984 looks tame in comparison to 2024 America. But the pattern here that I'm speaking to is that Republicans keep getting more insane. And we haven't even touched on the political extremism and the overt fascism. We've only looked at some of the silly things that they believe. I didn't even mention how Elon Musk, the richest man on earth, is using his platform to claim that undocumented immigrants who can't vote are voting. Or how Republican Congressman Eli Crane claimed that Trump's assassination attempt was an inside job. Or how the Republican Party's candidate for president still refuses to admit that he lost the 2020 election and is already laying the groundwork to deny the results of the upcoming election. Case in point. Do you trust the process this time around? Did I what? Do you trust the process this time around? I'll let you know in about uh, 33 days. No, Mr. look, I'm in 33 days. Uh, in other words, if he wins, the process was fair, but if he loses, the process was unfair. That's what we're dealing with. And as Republicans continue to get more and more extreme, their support is growing among certain groups. For example, non-college educated whites are flocking to Donald Trump. And it would be one thing if Americans saw that one of two major political parties went off the rails and they rejected them. 
but that's not what's happening. They are still electorally viable. Donald Trump can still win this election. And there are people who are proud to show support for him. They're displaying their Trump yard signs in their lawns. They're telling us about how much they love Donald Trump, even though every day he speaks, he sounds more like a Nazi when it comes to immigrants. We all know people who support Donald Trump. But listen, I'm going to put this very bluntly because I think that some people need to hear it. We have a mental health crisis in this country, the likes of which we have not seen. And the fact that the Republican Party is even remotely electorally viable is a warning sign that our society is on the brink of collapse. And I'm not being hyperbolic. I mean that. A healthy society doesn't put flat earthers or election deniers in charge. A healthy society gets those people the treatment that they need. Hence, our society is not healthy since we're not doing that. It's sick right now, and it's only a matter of time before they start doing worse things like rejecting germ theory or saying that gravity is a lie or licking toilet bowl seats to own the libs or prove that that's how you can boost your immune system or whatever the fuck they come up with next. But I mean, there's only so much that we can do to help these people. We can save the country still from these freaks, but we can't save them from themselves. So, I mean, if they refuse to get vaccinated and they insist on drinking raw milk, then to that I say, then die. Like everywhere there's glow, mama, mama. you see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. Mama. My children will be like, mama, glow, 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 glow. I turn mama. on TV, there's glow in the background. Every TV show, news media, glow, wow. Glow, 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 They're glow, everywhere. Glow, 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 gl